you guys welcome back to a video another video we've got the uh, transaxle here out of a yard machines this one here has no forward gear it goes in reverse okay and forward gear it doesn't do anything sometimes you'll hear a popping or a clicking or a snapping noise what's happening in there is the uh, the dog and the, and the detent for the forward gear is actually worn and it's snapping around in there but we're gonna pull the bolts out of the top of this and we're gonna have a peek inside I'll show you What's going on in there and we may fix this one new parts are expensive I have another trans transaxle outside I think will work not a complete unit but I've got a the gears I think might work if they do they do if they don't I have to tell the customer he's gonna have to decide what to do so I'm gonna get those bolts pulled out two here four six eight 10 and 12. I'll just get them zipped off. I'll get stuff taken apart and we'll get the camera back on here. I'll show you what's inside there. We'll look at its innards. All right, so I got the cover off. There was one extra bolt here I didn't mention, but uh, when you push the uh, gear lever into forward, this detent rod moves over this way and engages the dog, the centerpiece, the slip collar, and engages into this gear. This is your forward gear. This is the one that makes you go forward, thus the one that makes you go backwards. This is the front of the tractor. This is the back of the tractor, so it's gonna turn. Just give you your orientation. So let's get this collar out of here. That's our shift fork. It slides back and forth. Get this shaft lifted out of here. Possibly. Maybe. Might be stuck in a brake. Here we are. Come on now roll it out of there. Push this grease and poo back in there. My hands are wipe. We'll get these. I'll separate the shaft. That bushing's got to come off. There's a bump on this bushing. It has to be oriented properly. When we go to put it together, there's our brake rotor. Where are you looking? There's our brake rotor bushing. This is our forward gear. Yeah, it's quite rounded. I'm going to wipe that off and I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's our slip collar. Yeah, it's rounded too. I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to see if I can just reverse things. See if I can cheat it a little bit. There's our backwards gear. Hardly anywhere on this at all. We might end up using this for the forward gear. We're using that for the reverse gear. Flipping the dog around. But, eh. <laughs> Noise in the background is the air conditioning. You're going to have to put up with it because it's way too hot out here for me to have this garage doors and everything shut. And, uh, not have the air conditioning going, so. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna flip parts around. We'll get them back working probably for the rest of the life of this tractor. So this, that edge is rounded. This edge is nice and square, that's worn. Both of these edges are quite square, so that would have been would have been engaged in reverse. So that's the way it came out. We're gonna flip it, give this gear a wipe, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I get it clean enough for you guys to see it. Okay, so the back of this tooth here is nice and sharp. The front is completely rounded off. So that collar was slipping and snapping on it. So all we're gonna do is reverse our parts. Yeah. Just put everything back in opposite to what it was. stuck on this one. 
no. So our forward gear is now going to become our reverse gear. Got our slip collar in there. Now, new forward gear on there. Bushing, and there was also a shim on it. Let's get the, there's notches on the bushing, like I said. I think they go on the top of the case. Not sure. Can't feel them on the top of the case. Well, the bushings go on the side there. I see it. Shims and stuff. We got our bushings lined up. One down, one down, one down and one up. It's I can't show you. It's too uh, too greasy, too messy. If you take them apart, just be aware there is a notch on the back of the bushing and it has to line up in the housing. Looking. Ah, pay attention. I swear, we'll turn this camera off right now. <laughs> I'm pushing set. This one looks set. Well, now that I did that, I gotta realign, move it, and realign for the brake rotor. Got ahead of myself. Checking that bush and see what it looks like. That's it. Okay. We gotta get our brake rotor back on. So now, out it comes again. Hopefully, I can get that brake pad pushed back over where it was. Where is my screwdriver? We'll see. Oh, oh, oh. Shave. I want to have to take everything apart. I'm trying to sneak it in there. Come on now. Why are you going to be like that? I'm trying to hold the brake pads apart so I can get that rotor to a little disc to slide in there. I can deal with the bushing of the shaft later. There we go. Yoo-hoo! That one's in. Get the bushing lined up and rolled around. Get the notch in the notch. And this one. Roll that around. Yeah, I know my elbow's in the way. Ah, roll, just roll. So much grease. It 
It's hard to see if it's actually lined up in there or not. good though. Okay, so on that the shift fork, these grooves here, that's going to be forward, reverse, and neutral. There's a ball, ball bearing that sits on top of a spring right here. That puts pressure up into those grooves to help lock it into the position that we want it in. neutral. So both these gears should turn freely. We put it forward. Come on. A little ball is moving around giving me grief. There we go. We put it forward. And now that forward is actually locked in now. That's the plan anyways. We're going to try it. See what happens. I'll put the top cover back on. I'll just give the gaskets, the, the surface a little wipe here. I'm going to put it back in the tractor and see what happens. Hope for the best. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, he's into a transaxle. It's, it's out of my hands. That's it's all I can do. Alright, I'm going to get the cover back on and make sure that the shift fork is shifting and uh, we'll throw it back in the tractor. So there we go, the operation was a success. The tractor now moves forwards and backwards, no skipping and jumping. It uh, got another lease on life. That's not gonna last as long as the original, but uh, it's gonna get it through another few seasons anyways. Well, it was a nice quick video, a nice quick fix on that one. I think there's other work to do on this tractor yet, but I haven't talked to the customer, so. I'm going to give them a call, let them know what's going on with this, and then we'll go from there. Thanks for joining me in another video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to notify you when I upload new videos. There will be more videos. <laughs> Till the next one, guys. Take care. Thanks.